All right, what's going on? This is the Easter challenge. Welcome in. Today we're playing a groove, not a fill, which is fantastic. It's good for multiple reasons. One of them is being you're working on your weaker hand with ghost notes and fast singles as well. A lot of gospel players, just like Eric Moore, Thomas Pridgen, and a lot of other guys play this groove very, very fast. So, as I said, it's eight notes long. We're playing the 16 notes. You can do this 30 second notes on the chart. It's written as 16 notes with three other variations you can do. Feel free to download it from the website. But let's get back to the lesson. So, as I said, the eight notes, it's two chunks of four notes. So, the first four notes are right, left, left, right. The second four notes are left, right, left, left. So it's a nice rudiment like right, left, left, right, inverted double stroke followed by a left-handed lead parallel, if you wanted to say it like that. So it's basic sounds something like this, totally monotone on a snare drum. Keep in mind, when you start the left hand lead parallel, the first note, the left hand note, is going to be our downbeat or the backbeat of two. So it's right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, because as I said, we're playing a beat with this. So it's like. It's simple. Now, second step is being replacing the right hand with the kick drum. You're playing it with your right foot if you're left footed. Do it inverted, so you're going to get something like this. It's fairly simple. Now, step number three, I guess, or four, is playing plain quarter notes on a cymbal and playing this underneath that. Also, what you can do is playing the right hand on a cymbal with the kick drum. This gives it a nice little flavor, like six stroke roll type of thing but it's not. So let's play it with quarter notes and then with the um, right hand on the cymbal together with the kick drum. Okay, so there's a lot of ways you can play this. I've written out three different ways on the chart. Feel free to download that. So now let's grab the speed knob and turn it up into actual speed. All right, yes. Speed is a thing that comes with time, it can be frustrating, it can be monotone, it can be hard and sweaty and not the best and most um, pleasurable things on the drum set. So for that sake, I highly recommend checking out also the website, check out the PDF and it comes also with a 10 day free video series in which I'm teaching you how to be faster on the drum set in a short period of time of 10 days. Repeat that over and over and over again and you will have a system to be sure that you're getting the speed that you're looking for. Have a phenomenal Easter holiday and I can't wait to see you in the next video very soon. Peace.